This one simple rule has saved me countless headaches. As you know, Unity has both an awake and a start, and you probably know that awake runs first and then start runs, but you might not know when should you use which. So this is my one simple rule, use awake for local initialization and use start to access external references. If you just follow this one rule, you will save yourself countless headaches, countless issues that can happen due to script timing. One great example to see the benefit of following this rule is by looking at the singleton pattern. So over here, I've got some kind of player class and I've implemented the singleton pattern. So I've got a static instance and over here on start, I'm setting the instance, but then I've got some kind of enemy class and this enemy class on start is accessing the player instance. Now this code over here might or might not generate an error. This is one of those things that is going to vary from computer to computer. For example, in my PC, Unity might decide to run the player class before the enemy class. And if so, everything works fine, this works great. But on your PC, perhaps Unity might decide to run the enemy class before the player class. And if it does that, then over here, this code is going to throw a null reference exception because it's trying to access it, even though this one has not yet been set. So like I said, this is my general rule that solves so many headaches. Use awake for local initialization and use star to access external references. So following my rule, awake is meant for initializing the current object and the instance, this one belongs to this object. It is some local initialization. So this one should be over here on awake setting the instance. And then the enemy, since the enemy is accessing the player instance, this is an external reference. It is not the enemy, it is something external. So because of that, this one goes here on start. And now with this simple rule, this code will always work. It will never throw an error. Regardless if your Unity decides to run enemy before player, despite that, it won't matter because the awake will always run before start. So over here, this code will never throw an error.